right, we're going to look at the EDK and double EDK for joining two ropes together. So for our purposes, we've got two colors so we can kind of see what we're doing here. For hasty mode, we're going to show you the European Death Knot EDK. Don't let the name scare you. Used all the time in mountaineering. The big key performance parameter that we want to do on here is make sure that we have about 12 to 13 inch tails. We'll kind of explain why. So the EDK, we're going to match our two rope lengths together. We're going to go down and just tie a single overhand knot. This is your single EDK, which has a tensile strength, depending on the test, depending on whether we're talking dynamic or static rope, of up to about 22 kilonewtons, from 19 to 22 kilonewtons. So that is a single EDK. The reason that we leave these long tails in is under constant load, the EDK may start to roll. So each roll, consecutive roll, takes more kilonewtons to, to roll out. So this is basically just your just your safety, if you will, as that rolls down. To keep it from rolling, all we need to do is just add a second EDK in front of there. So when joining two ropes together, this is definitely your hasty method. Uh, it's pretty quick. Uh, know that once it's loaded, it's going to be a little difficult to get that out. But oddly enough, very safe not to use to join those. So you've got 50 foot of rope, I've got 50 feet of rope, and we need to join them to get a casualty down 100 feet. This would be one of our hasty methods to, to be able to join that rope together. When it rolls over a surface, the nice part about it is when it's pulled on from the red side, let's say, once it goes over the edge, it's flat, so it makes really good transitions over edges, whether it's rock or in an urban area, and doesn't get hung up.